Hello, I'm Lauren Brohan, Associate Director in the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship in the Foster School of Business, and I manage the Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge. In a moment, for the first time ever, we'll be sharing with you the in-person award ceremony for the EIC as we celebrate a fantastic 2022 competition. To each of the student teams who participated, we celebrate your passion to take action, to develop innovative solutions and to do your part to impact the natural world around us in positive ways during this moment in human history. To the community of judges and sponsors, thank you from all of us for supporting student work, creativity, and innovation. Now, without further ado, here is the 2022 awards presentation for the Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge. Let us start with our first prize. And Eric, I'm gonna call you to the stage. This is the Eric Carlson Climate Impact Prize. Well, thank you, Amy, and thank you to the Burke Center. Over the last eight years that I've been involved with the EIC, it's been extremely gratifying to share in the energy and the creativity that student teams bring to tackle major environmental challenges. During this time span, it's also become increasingly clear to me that the transition to a carbon neutral economy, and even better than that, is critical to maintaining our planetary ecosystem. Therefore, I've been delighted to sponsor the Climate Impact Prize, which is intended to recognize a team that is the most thoughtfully incorporated and quantified carbon footprint into the development and communication of their innovation. This is the second year of the Climate Impact Prize, which is associated with the new climate impact component that teams have been asked to address in their overall applications. The criteria for the award have been originality of their innovation and its prospective feasibility, a methodology of estimating the impacts of their uh, proposed technology, and uh, also, very importantly, the effectiveness of their communication of the impacts in written, graphic, and especially today here in their verbal communication of that. I am therefore pleased to announce this year's Climate Impact Prize winner, which is Ultropia. Next up is the Earth Lab Community Impact Prize, and I'm calling Constance McBaron up to the stage. Here you are. Here I am. Hi. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Constance. I'm the Communications and Engagement Lead at Earth Lab. And for those of you who don't know, we are a newer institute at the University of Washington. And our mission is to push boundaries to develop innovative, just, and equitable solutions to environmental challenges with urgency and action at the intersection of climate change and social justice. This is our third or fourth year <laughs> um, sponsoring a prize. I lost a little count during the pandemic, but we've been here for a few years. Maybe five years. Okay, well, there you go. Um, and I'm so excited to be here today because we know that there can be no true solutions to environmental issues without thinking about the impact on our communities. So today I am awarding the prize for community impact. Oh, you already got it. Do I have it? Okay. I do not want to pull an uh, Oscars snap. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Garden Pro. Next up is the Clean Energy Institute Clean Energy Prize, Michael. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Mike Pomford. I'm the Managing Director of the Washington Clean Energy Test Beds. Um, one of the best parts of that job is that I get to work with all sorts of different companies that are developing new technologies and trying to get them to market as fast as possible. 
um, whether it's clean energy or some energy adjacent technology. Um, it's even better when it's a group of students that are developing it because you really get to see the, the genesis of the idea come out of the lab and, and go out to market. And that's what's made working with the Burke Center since I started at the test beds in 2017 um, uh, great because I get to come to events like this. It's really a highlight of my year. Um, and it's great to see so many teams taking on the challenge of, of developing new clean energy um, uh, technologies. It's one of the biggest ways that we can impact the challenges of climate change. And so uh, it's just great to see. So well done uh, to all those teams that are taking on that challenge. Uh, so without further ado, uh, the winner of this year's uh, Clean Energy Prize is Catalytic Carbon. Next up, many of you probably remember the Jarl Awards. Judges also really liked. Love the name so much. Connie Barassa Shaw created this prize, our former director, who I know everybody in this room knows because she is a legend, right? Um, she created this prize to provide recognitions for teams that had something interesting, something that could or would become special, but didn't quite make it to a big prize yet. Um, the prize is about seeing the spark in the idea, the team, the students. After Connie retired, we renamed the Jarl um, in her honor, and it's a much better named prize, the Connie Barassa Shaw Spark Award. Um, so for the first time, Connie is missing this event as she's home recovering from foot surgery, but I am incredibly pleased to call a very special guest to the podium to award the prize in her honor, Catherine Shaw, Connie's daughter. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Oh my goodness. I get two envelopes to present tonight, so I'm very excited to present this in my mom's honor. Um, for those of you who don't know who my mom is, she started in entrepreneurship in 1997, and she was the director of the Burke Center from 2006 until 2017. She actually helped to create the Environmental Innovation Challenge, the Healthcare Innovation Challenge, the Business Plan Competition, and the, oh, sorry, the Master of Science in Entrepreneurship. She so badly wanted to be here tonight, but she's currently on a knee scooter, and if you know my mom, she'll probably take curves way too fast and just go shooting off around Seattle, and you do not want that. So I'm here instead. The EIC is her favorite, though she probably wouldn't admit that out loud to anybody, um, because the goal is always student innovation around environmental problems. My mom believes that um, real change only happens when students are passionate about something. That's when we see real change in these problems. And my mom would have loved to give everyone here like a huge prize. She would have loved to be like, yeah, great, perfect. I'm gonna hand this out to you too. Cause she was, she was so happy with all the ideas that always came out of the EIC. And so it was such her, it was her favorite thing to do was to give away money to people. And so I get to present two awards tonight. So the first is to Plant Seal. And my second is to Ultropia. So we get both of you up here. We finally get to move on to our top three prizes. So, we are going to start with the Starbucks third place prize. Chris McFarland was here, but had to leave early, had some kid duty to do. But he let us know what he would like us to say in his place, because this is what he would have said if he were here. So, I'm Chris, now at the microphone. At Starbucks, we've always been so much more than coffee. Over the course of our 50 years, with the help of our partners, we have always looked for ways to help protect our planet. Starbucks is committed to being a resource positive company, testing and learning from pilot programs and quickly sharing solutions to reach more people and create more impact. Starbucks is thrilled to support the young innovators that will lead us into the new circular economy and a more sustainable future. So that's on behalf of Chris 
And on behalf of Chris, I am very pleased to announce the third place prize goes to Arctic Biotech Oath. Next up is the second place prize awarded by Michael Bauer and the Jones Foundation. Michael. Uh, on behalf of the trustees of the foundation board for Herbert B. Jones, and especially on behalf of Herb, who in his day was called a small businessman, we didn't know what entrepreneurship was. So congratulations, you've been elevated. Uh, <laughs> it, it's important. The reason that we support these and the other competition events is because it's provided you a venue for taking your inspirations and your passions and advancing them and having the venue to relate to others and to network. And so we congratulate all of you for participating because you're all technically winners. But on behalf of Herbert B. Jones, just right bite. In the 14-year history of the Environmental Innovation Challenge, Alaska Airlines has been the naming sponsor since 2015 and a wonderful collaborator with the university and our community and the entire Pacific Northwest region. They do everything they can to walk the talk when it comes to sustainability. And to tell you more about this, please welcome Pasha Saleh, Head of Corporate Development at Alaska Airlines. Pasha. On behalf of Alaska Airlines, thank everybody who made this possible, from the academic faculty to the staff, to all of you entrepreneurs, who's, uh, without which, whose uh, energy and optimism and enthusiasm, none of this would be possible. Last year, I had the pleasure of delivering the opening remarks to this event and judging an amazing cohort of entrepreneurs. Unfortunately, it was over Zoom, uh, so what a difference a year makes to be able to be here in person and see all the great work you're all doing. Innovation is the lifeblood of progress. Last year I spoke at length about the role and history of innovation in the commercial aviation industry, but for now I'll keep these uh, closing remarks uh, brief so we can get to the exciting part of the award presentation. I do, however, want to mention some of the exciting, innovative ideas that we've been pursuing over the last 12 months at Alaska Airlines to make commercial aviation environmentally and economically sustainable. Over the past year, we've worked very closely with Boeing to launch an aircraft that we call the Eco Demonstrator. This is a brand new Boeing 737 MAX jet with a variety of sensors and equipment on board to test uh, new technologies, everything ranging from fuels made from non-fossil sources to advanced navigation systems and even recycled lightweight interior components. The data that we're going to collect from a year of flying this airplane all around the world will help inform the next generation of cleaner, safer, more efficient airplanes. We've also launched internal initiatives to standardize and still make, make our operations still more efficient. Everything from single engine ground uh, taxing procedures to the use of preconditioned air at the gates to cut down on fuel consumption on the ground. We've introduced the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning, first airline in the world to do that, into our flight planning process. Um, this results in shorter, more direct routes, which save time, reduce CO2, and result in more predictable schedules and arrival times. We've also stood up a brand new corporate subsidiary that we call Alaska Star Ventures. That name goes back to the original name of our airline, which is Alaska Star Airways. Uh, and it's focused on identifying and investing in early stage companies that are going to help us on our journey to net zero carbon emissions. And these are folks with the exact same DNA and spirit as you entrepreneurs in this room. We've also contributed one of our regional aircraft, the de Havilland Q400 76 seat airplane, to a project that's aimed at replacing its propulsion system with a brand new state of the art electric motor powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Um, when that uh, is complete, uh, it will make it by far the largest zero emissions aircraft in the world. Next month, Alaska Airlines will turn 90 years old. And just yesterday, we were recognized by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential companies in the world. I believe it's in large part due to the innovative approach that we've taken to meet these very aspirational commitments and what we see as our responsibility to our guests, to each other, and to our planet. 
So thank you again to everyone for being here tonight in support of entrepreneurship and innovation. Alaska is so proud to support this event and to encourage the next generation of innovators, some of whom may find their way to help us on our journey. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Alaska Airlines grand prize this year goes to Catalytic Carbon. Again, congratulations to all the prize winning teams and every team who participated this year. You started something new and we cannot wait to celebrate your next milestone. The Burke Center team joins me in thanking our advisory board, our colleagues in the Foster School of Business, the University of Washington and the wonderful entrepreneurial community across this region for helping to make this event possible. We'll see you again in 2023.